What's up guys, we're here with another tier list video, today we're going to be doing horror movie tier list. Uh, I am myself a big horror fanatic, if you guys didn't know, I uh, definitely like to partake in some horror movies from time to time. So uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that shit today, we'll be getting it done, quick style, knocking this bitch out. I want to do like horror character tier list, but there really weren't any good ones on this one, so I'm going to settle for horror movies instead. Uh, don't hate me if, um, I can't remember every horror movie, or if there's one on here that, you know, I'm, like, not sure if I've seen or not, because it's kind of hard based on the pictures, there's a little cut off. This guy did a really good job of picking the movies, but not a great job of, like, cropping them in, so. Thanks, Steven, I believe your name was. Thanks, bro. But, uh, yeah, kind of need to work on your crop in a little next time, bud. So, starting right off, Sinister put a B tier um seen this movie before I know a lot of people say it's like the scariest horror movie ever for whatever reason I don't fucking know um it's a good movie uh I seen it but I can't remember it super clearly in my head which makes me think it's not that great uh moving on unfriended this is the first unfriended so I'll give it a solid C tier if it was the dark web one that'd be F because goddamn that movie was fucking straight dog shit first unfriended's pretty good um I don't know, I just really don't like the social media, internet bullshit fucking idea. I think it's kind of cheesy, but, you know, hey, that's for some people. We're, uh, we're in the age of tech, technology, so, yeah. Uh, here's a Nicolas Cage fucking horror movie. It's pretty recent. Um, put a C tier. Uh, it wasn't anything great, uh, but, you know, it was kind of like a funny, like, non-serious horror movie like it's like self-aware that it's not gonna be like this crazy fucking uh horror movie i think it's called willie's wonderland yeah i'm pretty sure that's the title of it uh i don't know sorry sorry if i'd like butchered it it wasn't one that like super stuck out of my head so yeah my bloody valentine i'm gonna put an f uh this is probably more of like a d tier c tier ish movie um really basic slasher film uh nothing out of the ordinary you could probably put it, like I said, DC, uh, but I'm going to put an F just because I don't think it's on the same level as these two. Uh, this is the Midsummer movie, right? Ah, uh, this is going to be controversial, but I have not seen this yet. I haven't really got around to seeing it. I know a lot of people said it's a great horror movie, but uh, I'll check it out soon. Beyond the Mask. I'm pretty sure this is the puppet movie or ventriloquist movie or whatever, if I'm not wrong. Um, yeah, that's like a D-tier-ish movie. Uh it's not terrible, but yeah, it's not really, I don't think it's on the same level as these two. It's nothing great. Better watch out. Uh, I don't think I've seen it, but it's some dog shit Christmas movie. I don't think I'm fucking, I hate themed horror movies. I feel like they're really fucking stupid. Krampus was all right. I think that's in here as well, actually, since I mentioned it. Where's it at? Let's just bring this bitch up since already, yeah, there it is. It's Krampus. Krampus, it was a okay horror movie. Um. Uh, I'll put it C tier. It's kind of whatever. I thought the CGI stuff was cool. This was kind of when I first got into horror movies. It was around when I seen this one. Seen it in theaters. It, it, it was it was a decent movie, but yeah, like in terms of like we're talking the like good movies in horror genre. Like yeah, bro, you're you're not up there. We'll say that much for sure. Um, fucking this movie. Don't know what see. Don't know what the fuck that is. The little girl looks pissed. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know what fucking movie that is, or this one, Your Next is a really great horror movie, um, I don't think it's S tier, but this movie I'd really recommend watching, it's kind of a more of a low key horror movie, it's really good, it's um, it's very um, like Ushis, uh, Ushis, it's like Us, sorry, that's a better way to say it, um, kind of purgy type style of movies uh but like before those type of movies are popular so this is kind of a i think revolutionary little gem right here really good movie i'd recommend seeing it since i know it's not so popular raider not was really funny and a really good horror movie as well uh, i thought the action was really good all the actors were really good great horror movie and the twist at the end was pretty good too uh conjuring i i'm not sure which one this is supposed to be but we'll just fucking rank it as a whole series because we're not getting into the nitty-gritty bullshit um s for sure conjuring is one of my favorite horror movie series if not my most favorite horror movie series 
Um, I'd also recommend watching the new Conjuring movie. I've seen it very recently, and uh, I thought it was really good. So I think you guys should check it out. It was a, it's a big step up from uh, that dog shit nun movie. Because, God, that that was some horse shit, wasn't it? Um, I'm probably going to end up putting these two in Never Seen because I can't think of it off the top of my head. I, there's a decent chance I've seen these movies because like I've, I've seen so many fucking horror movies. But, yeah, I don't know. The Blair Witch, this is the one that was made a couple years ago. I'm going to say C tier. It wasn't terrible. Um, but the idea of showing the witch is kind of dumb because the whole point of the Blair Witch is like you don't know what she looks like. And uh, the original Blair Witch is also in here. I am actually going to go ahead and put that. Where the fuck is it at? I know I've seen it. You little bitch. There it is. Original Blair Witch, I am going to put S tier. Whoa. Um, that might be controversial. Uh, mainly for the reason that it is not uh, anywhere near one of my favorite horror movies. I would not put this in S tier if it was not as popular. And um, as, you know, uh, I think, uh, what the fuck is the word? Like, important for like the horror genre as it is, you know. This is a really revolutionary film. Um uh, really, like, kind of cemented the found footage horror shit. It was way ahead of its time in terms of, like, that whole style. That's why it became so popular. I mean, the fact that you barely see anything in that movie and it's still so fucking scary is exactly what horror movies should um, fucking capitalize, which is suspense and the fear of not knowing, you know. I think it's a really important um, thing to notice that... uh Sometimes not showing the villain is sometimes the best thing you can do. So, yeah. Uh, this, this is another Sinister movie. It's probably like the first, second. I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm not ranking that one. I'm ranking the franchise as a whole. I don't fucking know. Um, this is that one science fucking horror movie. I can't think of the name of it. Um, ah, it just came out like a year or two ago. Can't think of the name off the top of my head, but yeah, it's like the sciencey sci-fi horror movie where they go into that little rift and it's like all the fucking uh like the biome, the fucking or the plant cells are like mixing with the human cells, and then there's the zombie bear and it does like mimics the lady's voice and stuff. Like yeah. It, it wasn't, I don't know, people were saying it was, like, the fucking best horror movie that year or whatever. I think that's bullshit. They're just saying that because it was new and fucking different, which is fine. It's good to experiment and stuff. Like, I thought it was a really good, like, idea for a movie, but I think it tried to be a little, like, too woke. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I think B tier solid because it has some good action scenes, but nothing crazy. So, the one I just placed in S tier is Cabin in the Woods. This is a great movie. Um, it kind of capitalizes on the irony of horror movies, you know, like all the tropes they have. It's basically like a big mock parody movie of horror movies, but at the same time is like an actual horror movie. Really good. It's it's an amazing horror movie, I really think. Uh, it's funny how they can accurately display all the tropes, but not in a way that's like um, like corny, but actually like kind of funny, you know. Um, the Babysitter... Uh, I guess I'll put it C tier. I don't know. It's kind of average in terms of like these movies. Um, C, I, I know people would probably say this should be F because it's like cheesy and it's like supposed to be kind of funny, but I don't know. I feel like it, it does a decent job of what it is uh, supposed to be. Like I said, it's not supposed to be some in depth, great horror movie. It's kind of supposed to be like a cheesy Netflix fucking horror movie. I think in terms of Netflix horror movies, this one's actually not that bad. So, I have no problem putting it in C tier, but if you said D or maybe even F, I wouldn't be super upset about it. Grave Encounters, this is a really good um, low-budget horror film. Uh, it's a whole series, actually. Um, it, it's pretty good. I'd overall say it's it's pretty good. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't have any qualms with it. Uh, I think you guys should check it out. It's not, a, it's not a terrible horror series, but there's also nothing like crazy that stands out in it. Visible Man. Ah, see, I would say this movie's an S tier, but we have to think in comparison to like all the movies that are gonna be on here. So I think I'm gonna put it in A for now, but this is definitely like a potential S tier movie. 
I feel like this is kind of one you have to come back to in a couple years and see how it holds up then to really know if it's like a true S tier. But Invisible Man was a great movie. It's probably one of the best movies that came out of 2020. And, uh, you know, that whole shitty year. Um, we're not going to rank Sinister. I already fucking rank Sinister movie. This is the Escape Room movie. Um, I'll give it a B because I think it's better than these movies. But uh, it, was, it was creative. Cool idea. Um, execution wasn't great. Wasn't anything amazing. So I think B is all right. Um, I'd recommend watching it. But, you know, I don't think it'll be blown away by any means. Oh, fuck, it sucks that how these pictures are cropped because there's a chance I may have actually seen these two, but I do not remember the thumbnails. Fantasy Island, I didn't see that, but I heard it wasn't great. Um, what is this? The Endless. Yeah, i seen that that movie's, like, kind of popular, and it's, like, all series, but I haven't seen that one either. Thing, S. Um, Thing, amazing movie, one of my favorite horror films. Um... Uh, the original is probably the best one, but the remake is pretty good too. A uh, really great concept, you know, this, uh, oh, I don't know who I can trust. Well, there's an alien. Alien itself looks all disgusting and gross, so, you know, you're freaked out the whole movie. Um, really good movie. Yeah, that's S tier for sure. Ring, I also think is S tier just because um, it's kind of a staple of the horror genre. You know, the idea that this girl is coming out of this TV screen into her life is such like a creative concept and no one did that beforehand and uh it also traumatized my friend victor so get some extra points for that so i'd say it's a tier friday the 13th no no sorry night around elm street s tier great movie franchise freddy krueger is an iconic horror uh villain everyone knows his little fucking cutty hands like he's edward scissor hands in this bitch with all five fingers um, you know, uh, it kind of gets a little funnier and cheesier as a movie series go on. It's not as great, but, you know, that's pretty common with all movie series. But, uh, nothing to hold against it. I think it's a great movie series, S tier, especially the first couple. New Mutants, actually seen, um, some scenes from it, but, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's enough to where I can really give it a ranking. Uh, The Strangers is really good. Um, I think I'm... Oh, fuck. This is tough. I feel like it's in between A and B. I'll put it B because I don't think it's as good as these three up here. But The Strangers is a really good movie. Uh, I really like the movies where it's like real shit like that can happen to you. I feel like it's uh, it's really cool. Um, yeah, I, I really like those type of movies because, you know, you kind of have to put yourself in that mindset of like, fuck, this is like a real thing. Like this, this could really happen to me. Like I better, better not fucking get slipping. The Mist, S tier, uh, great movie, um, it's probably, the CGI doesn't stand as great now as it did at the time, considering this movie is, like, a little older now, it's, like, 2000s-ish movie, um, but the endings is, like, I think one of the best endings in horror movies and movies in general, you know, how could you say that, oh my god, he killed his whole family, and then it turns out you have to kill all, you're such a dick, Okay, so my thing with endings for movies is it's actually better if it's not a fucking happy ending. Because guess what? In real life, there's not that many fucking happy endings, brother. So, you know, fucking think about that. This is Friday the 13th, I believe. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's S tier. Friday the 13th is a great series. Although, similar to fucking Nightmare on Elm Street, they get really corny and cheesy as it goes along. But great fucking movie series. One of the best movie series there is, probably for horror. Um, great fucking movies. Us, S tier. I really liked the Us movie. It was a great movie. Um, really creative. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't know what else to say about the Us movie. It was just great story, great characters, great character development, um, a decent like twist at the end. Uh, I, I, yeah, I thought the movie was really good overall. The Purge, um, I'm gonna give it a B tier, I know that's controversial, everyone loves the Purge movies, uh, I, it's okay, I don't know, um, the concept's cool, but it's just, I don't know, it's not something that I'm like, yeah, the fucking Purge, you know, it's nothing, uh, I don't think it's anything really crazy, uh, The Babadook, S tier, that's a great movie, um, 
Actually, one of my earlier videos I did was talking about the difference between the Babadook and a nun, which I fucking hate. The Babadook I really like. I think it's a great horror movie. Um, so yeah, I definitely think it's... Maybe if you wanted to put it in A tier, I wouldn't be mad about it, but it's definitely up there. It's a really good horror movie. Um, I think that might be A Quiet Place, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think that is A Quiet Place. I think. I'm pretty sure based on that. Um, that's controversial. A Quiet Place is a B for me. It's not the greatest movie ever. Uh, I thought it was a decent movie. I've seen it like two or three times now. Uh, it's it's a pretty good movie, but uh, yeah, like it's not anything crazy. I think the idea of sound, ah, eh, well, it's in between A and B for me. Um, I th okay, I think it's above these movies, but not above these movies. If that makes sense. Um, but yeah, the idea of sound being such an important element in movie, I think, is pretty unique and cool. So uh, yeah, I don't know the fuck that is. I can go down there. Um, Aliens, that's S tier, God, or Aliens, Alien, whatever, that whole franchise, S tier, fucking love those movies, not to mention Alien, it's probably one of the best, if not the best horror movie all fucking time, Ridley Scott is a fucking G, man, that movie is fucking amazing, the acting, the effects at the time, like, to think that those were, like, at that time period effects, like, is fucking mind blowing, great concept, great movie, and uh, I, you know, it's, it's, I don't really know what else to say without sounding repetitive. It's, it's just a great overall movie. Um, unfriended. Oh fucking F tier. That movie's dog shit. Child's Play. This is gonna be controversial. I want to give it a C. I'll I'll give it a B. I'm not the biggest Chucky fan. I feel like it's kind of corny. Like, I don't know, it's it's a doll. Like, you really, bro, you're scared of a fucking two-foot doll. Like, bro, I would punt kick that shit, man. Come on. Get the fuck out of here. It doesn't have super strength anything. It's a fucking stupid-ass doll. Um, I think this is the, the most recent Annabelle movie. Uh, I'm gonna give it a C tier. It was very CGI-ish, and, uh, I don't know, it, it was mid- I don't know, like in hindsight, maybe at the time I thought it was better, but in hindsight, looking back on it, it really wasn't anything uh, amazing or spectacular. Insidious, I'm going to say B tier. Um, I know that's also controversial. People really like Insidious. Um, you know, I, I think the first movie is probably the best one, but the series as itself is, it's all right. It kind of drops off, but like I said, like I said, most movie series drop off. It's a fucking why we should probably move towards making really good single movies instead of all these movie series that fucking mess up the original movie and it gets shittier as time goes along uh, what i did last summer i think i have seen this one before but i'm not sure so i'm not gonna rank it this movie oh I, fuck i know what this movie is i've seen it and i've seen the first two but i can't think of the name of it but this movie series is pretty good. I'm going to say it's like a B tier. Can't. I don't think it's. No, I don't think it's the Terrorizer. I can't think of the name of it. It's it's, it's a good movie. Gallows, the C tier. It's very similar to Grave Encounters. It's like a more low budget. Or I think it's supposed to be. Sorry, I hope I'm not offending the director or whatever. Um, it's like a more lower budget horror movie. It's solid, kind of cheesy, but you know, it's cool it's a different concept so i think c tier hush is a fucking amazing movie that's s tier uh kind of similar to quiet place actually sound is a i won't spoil the movie um but sound is like a really big uh factor in the movie and it's really cool unique concept you know i love movies that have cool unique ideas and concept and hush is the embodiment of that that movie is fucking awesome it's a great horror movie um, this is, what the fuck is the name of it? Uh, this is the most recent, like, zombie World War Three movie. It was pretty good. I'll put a B tier. Uh, I really liked it at the time, but in hindsight, I can kind of see how, like, there's, like, cheesier parts and stuff. I really liked the movie, though. It, it was really fun. I, I think it was better as, um, an action-adventure movie than a horror movie. But, uh, so that's why I'm putting a B tier, but, uh, I, I really liked that movie. It was really good. Sorry, I can't remember the name of it. Green Room. 
Uh, it's decent, you know. I, I'd say it's kind of like Grave Encounters, Gallowish ish. Uh, just a lot of killing and shit in that movie. But, uh, you know, it's, it's not a bad movie or anything. Just get some of these done. Empty Man, haven't seen that. Don't know what the fuck that is. Underwater, uh, this is controversial. F, that movie fucking sucked balls. God, that movie fucking sucked so much. It was, like, half the movie, like, was fucking unwatchable because it was so fucking dark. And then, like, I get it. Like, the, oh, it's deep down there. We don't know what's down there. Blah, blah, blah. Like, God. That movie. Oh, The Nun, another dog shit movie. F. This should be F fucking plus. I wish I could make an own tier for The Nun. Um, basically, if you guys don't know the reason why I think The Nun is so shitty, it's because it's in the same universe as The Conjuring movie, which is really good. And, um, you know, it's, it's just so dog shit. And it's just jump scary. And it's like, oh, that's the backstory to all this shit. And there's not even really that much fucking backstory. Like, oh, it's just, it's fucking terrible. Fuck that movie. Don't breathe. Um, don't breathe is F. Fucking. A lot of movies revolving around sound. Now that I'm doing this movie, I'm realizing I got the fucking. No, no, no. Well, I guess it is sound technically because the blind old military vet. And then the fucking chick sticks the cum baster in his mouth and. Oh, fucking gross. I did not watch the whole entirety of that movie. Once I seen the cum baster come out, I fucking ran out of the room. I said, nope, I'm not watching this shit. Fucking sprinted out that bitch. Scary Stories is on the dark. Uh, I'll put it in... I'm trying to think. Is it better? I think it's better than probably all these movies. Um, It's like a good kids scary movie. Like, like uh, maybe you have a... Like a 12 year old or 13 year old, or maybe you're listening to this, you are 12 or 13, I don't fucking know. And you're kind of uh, like, oh, I don't know about horror movies, I'm kind of scared. Blah, blah, blah. This would be a good movie to try to kind of like transition you into it. I think, um, yeah, I think it was an overall decent movie. It really wasn't anything great. I thought special effects were cool, but uh, yeah, the story was kind of like irky jerky. But um, I, I get that they're taking it from a bunch of short stories and trying to make this overarching like plot that made sense, so. It was kind of forced, but it was decent. So below, um, see, I don't know. I remember this movie. They go down to the catacombs in Paris or some shit, and then they're supposed to keep going through these different gates of hell, and then it's like repressed memories and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I almost feel like putting this in F tier because that movie was so fucking boring, but I guess he is more appropriate. Because there's actually, like, thought put into it. And it's supposed to be, like, an emotional thing. But, yeah. The Visit is ass. That's a fucking... It's an F tier. Oh, is that Creep? Oh, Creep is amazing. I love Creep. Um, I don't think it's S. But, man, both the Creep movies are so good. If I'd definitely recommend you guys watching it. As someone who's really interested in making film and pursuing a, a career in film, those movies are so fucking dope because it's, like, so low budget but, like, really good and really in-depth at the same time. Because I won't spoil it, but basically, you know, it's this crazy dude who's, um... He, he's just crazy, basically. Uh, like, that's as much as I can say without spoiling the movie. And, um, you really see, like, just his mania and... His progression of just fucking, I don't know if it's a mental disorder, but it's just fucking crazy state of mind as the movie goes on. Hereditary is an S move, S tier. This is probably like, um, how people say Sinister is scary. I would say this movie is scary just because how fucked up it is. And, I mean, if you want to make your horror movies great, it should be fucked up. So, yeah, no, that's S tier for sure. The first It movie, uh... You know, I really liked it, so I want to give it an S. Oh, is it deserving of an S? I don't know. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't think so. I think it's. I think it's probably more A. Well, I don't know, cause I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll put it in S, but it's S or A. I I don't know. We're like splitting hairs at that point. I feel like it kind of. I feel like maybe it is S, just because like it made Pennywise like a thing. And, I mean, the last time Pennywise the thing was, like, on some IT TV show in, like, the 80s. It was, like, a little miniseries. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I, I think I think S.A. is appropriate. It's a really good movie. 
Get Out is a A tier movie. Um, uh, it's re really interesting, you know. Um, there's a there's a lot of elements to think about. I know that, like um, a lot of people focus on the racial undertones, but I feel like there's um there's a deeper message behind the movie that you can take away besides like um the fucking upfront uh race thing. I feel like people played a little too much into that. Um, but yeah, it was a good movie. Um, I think if you changed the dynamics a little differently, people wouldn't have had such a big problem to it as they did, or probably people wouldn't praise it as much as they do. I think it's overall a really good movie. I think Us is way better, um, out of the two Jordan Peele movies, but, uh, that's just, that's just my opinion, but, uh, you know. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh... Oh, fuck man, the fucking little pictures. Cause more than likely I've probably seen these movies. I just don't remember. Um, Lights Out. Uh, that that movie sucks, doesn't it? I don't fucking know. I think I've seen it before, and I think it sucks. F tier. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's fucking good. I'm not sure. Sorry if it's your grandma's favorite horror movie or something. My bad. Split is A tier. I think it's an amazing movie. It's a really good concept, but I also do think there's some shortcomings with it that stop it from being an S tier. But uh, I do think A tier is really appropriate because it is a great movie. Um, but yeah, really, once again, another cool, really awesome concept. Speaking of which, Final Destination. I'm almost tempted to put Final Destination in S tier just because of like the impact it had. Because I mean, I, I I heard I don't really remember because like I don't know I think I was in like fucking like grade school or some shit that fucking like uh. You know, where, where uh, people were, like, scared to go places and do certain stuff because of Final Destination. And I think it's one of those movies, again, where it's just crazy because, like, that shit could happen in real life. But uh, I also think at the same time Final Dest Destination is kind of self-aware that it's, like, it at times it, like, pokes fun at itself. Like, this could happen, you know. Could being, like, the big fucking emphasis on it. Uh, it's just a fucking bland whatever movie. It's nothing special, kind of generic. Uh, The Witch. That's a pretty good movie. That's A tier. I think I think that's a really good movie. Not S tier, but really good horror movie. Really solid overall. There's a lot of really cool um symbolism and stuff of the movie. This is gonna be controversial, but I've not seen the Grudge movie. Um, I know. Sorry, everyone's gonna hate that. My bad. But uh, just being honest here. Um, It Comes at Night, that movie sucks balls, um, I don't know, I mean, yeah, that movie's very, whatever, what is this one, oh, what the fuck, oh, It Follows, yeah, okay, so, the STD Ghost movie, um, this is a B tier, um, I don't think it's A tier, uh, by any means, I know a lot of people think this movie's, like, amazing, uh, I think it's really good. I went to see this, like, a long time ago, when I was, like, fucking, like, 14 or 13 or something in the movie theaters. Um, it was, it was kind of, like, weird then. I thought it was kind of weird, but, uh, I rewatched it again after, and I liked it a lot better. Um, but I do think, like, the whole STD ghost thing is a, is a little weird. But, uh, it, it, once again, it's, like, a cool original idea that I thought was pretty decent. Um, the Autopsy of Jane Doe is kind of a just generic, one of those fucking horror poultry guys. Oh, all the chicks back alive movies. Like, yeah, I don't know. Evil Dead's cool. I'll give it a B, but I don't know. I'm not the biggest Evil Dead guy. I don't know. Uh, it, it, it's a really cool franchise, but um, I think it, it's kind of similar to this, um, the Nazi zombie movie I was talking about because, uh, it's, like, better as an action-adventure horror than, like, uh, just a straight-up horror, you know? Uh, Saw. Uh, I'm gonna give it A. I really like the Saw. I kind of have a soft spot for it because it was, like, one of the horror movies that... Well, I guess I should say, in case you guys didn't know, I actually really used to be scared of horror movies. Um, you know, my, my dad, my, my family as a whole, it's really into watching horror movies and stuff. And, um... You know, I it used to be on all the time as a kid, and I used to be really scared of it, but then eventually I just, like, stopped being scared of it. And one of the first movies that, like, I, franchises that I really, like, started to watch to, like, kind of transition into not being scared of, like, scary movies 
was Saw, so I kind of have a little bit of a soft spot for it, but I do think Saw as a whole is pretty cool. I just think, um, once again, man, like, you put out all these movies in the same series, they start to get so convoluted and generic and dry, and then I think Saw is really fucking big, like, um, I don't know, uh, faulty fault is that, um, is it tries to, like, connect all the movies together, and it just some of them like don't connect and it's so like fucking like it tries way too hard to be like a oh no no no, this makes sense like it's totally like a fucking uh black ops look at the numbers mason what do they mean mason what do the numbers mean type of shit i've never seen house on the left or the fuck that is it's chapter two b i'll give it a b Uh, i don't think it's a It it was a decent movie um i definitely think the the change of dynamic from um uh, kids to adults did not help the movie, and I also didn't like how so much, uh, more CGI-y, that's, I know that's not a real word, but I'll use it, cgi the move movie was, uh, the second one, so I think that really uh, hurt it too. Three, I don't think I've seen this movie, I'm not entirely sure though, so. Yeah, like, with a lot of these, this is, and some of these I know for a fact I didn't see, but like, some of them I'm not sure, like, I think, says, I think I may have seen this one. I'm not sure. I can't tell if I've seen this one or not. I'm not sure. I know I didn't see this one or this one or this one. But yeah. So sorry for the ones I didn't see. I know it's kind of a... Just a uh, what the fuck is... Sorry. Bastard. Hold on. Sorry guys. My computer is bugging out there for a second. Shining uh, S tier. Amazing movie. Um, and they're like, oh, what, that movie's old as fuck, Troy, come on, stop being fucking, stop being a biased douchebag, because you like Jack Nicholson. Alright, Jack Nicholson is an amazing actor, especially in that movie, let's just be honest. And, uh, I mean, you want to talk about fucking iconic horror movie scenes, who the fuck doesn't, here, Johnny, really fucking smashed through the door with a fucking act. Everyone knows that reference, not to mention... Like, how many times it's been fucking used in, um, uh, pop media culture and different shows and shit. Um, where's the boy? I've seen the boy. I actually like this movie. Uh, controversial opinion. I actually think the boy is pretty good. I won't give it an A, but I do think it's B tier. I think that movie's really good. I know some people think it sucks. Uh, I don't think so. I think the twist and the idea is kind of cool. Also might be because I seen it kind of a long time ago, so I'm kind of biased towards it. Maybe if I watched it again, maybe it'd be like, oh, I don't know, hmm. kind of changed my mind. But you know, Scream, Scream is so dope. Uh, I won't give it an S because I don't, I don't think it really deserves an S, uh, especially since once again, as the movie series goes on, it gets kind of fucking overplayed and dumb, and they just, it, it, I don't know, it's corniness just fucking ensues because the movie series go on and on and on but uh, i really like the aesthetics of scream and i think the idea is really cool of um you know that it's it's not like this crazy like fucking because at the time you know it's kind of a big deal because you know it's like in the time where the jason and the freddy war he's and all shit was coming out and it's like all oh, these super overpowered like demon monsters that you can't beat where scream kind of like countered that with like no it's it's just a dude with a knife who, uh, who fucking kills people. Um, okay, uh, I'll only do one of these, so I'll pick this Halloween. Um, so, I, I think Halloween is S tier. I used to not like it as much as, like, the Jason Voorhees and, um, fucking, actually, no, hold on, I changed my mind. I'm moving it to A tier, because you want to know why? It, there's the fucking, a couple of the Halloween movies try to do the same thing that fucking Saw does, where they try to make it, like, this weird overarching story bullshit, and, like, it'll be about, oh, Michael Myers' mom and shit, and it's just, it's so fucking dumb. It makes no fucking sense. But other than that, it's a really good franchise. It's very similar to, like, Jason, uh, uh, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street shit, but, yeah, Halloween kind of, Kind of loses for me when it tries to do that weird fucking mom bullshit and then the fucking unicorn and whatever. If you've seen the movie, you know the fuck I'm talking about. 
what the fuck is this one? I don't know what the fuck this is. Oh, I know I've seen this because that chick's face looks so familiar, but I can't, I can't tell what the fuck it is. My bad, guys. Annabelle, um, C, whatever. Ugh, not a big fan of. I, I really like the OG Conjuring better than the Paranormal Activity. I actually kind of changed my mind on this. I used to think these are really fucking corny. But I went back and rewatched it not that long ago, and I think it's A tier. It's a, uh, it's really similar to Blair Witch. It's kind of like, yeah, like it's really similar to Blair Witch. I don't know how else to describe it. I do remember as a kid, I used to see the commercials for the new Paranormal Activity all the time, and it'd be like the scariest movie you have ever seen. Look at these in uh, in time crowd reactions, and there's like people like fainting and having seizures and shit and getting dragged out like. That shit's so crazy. Like, oh my god, fucking pussies. But um, no, it's it's a it's a pretty good movie. Um, I, I like the whole series. Like I said, I went back and rewatched it because I originally thought it was kind of stupid. But after rewatching it, I thought it was decent. Is this the second Conjuring? I can't tell. Is this? Is this, hold up. Let me see. Cause I I need to know so I can rank this. I know I was saying I wasn't fucking. Ranking franchises, but fuck it. I really like the second Conjuring. Let me... Oh, no, that was the second Conjuring. I don't, I don't fucking know then, whatever. Who cares? I, I don't know what the fuck this is then. Um, Doctor Sleep, it was a decent movie. Um, I think B-tier. Uh, it's kind of long, kind of... If you guys don't know, uh, the Doctor Sleep is um the... Uh, it kind of was a slept-on movie. I don't think that many people watched it. It was... um. The aftermath of The Shining, like, 20 years later with his son, and then he has powers and stuff. It's it's kind of, like I said, in the realm of, like, action adventure horror movies, but it was decent. It was it was cool. I, didn't, I, I thought it was decent. You guys should check it out. Ouija board, whatever. It was so fucking... I hate these fucking corny type of movies, man. It's really like the Autopsy of Jane Doe, Ouija board shit. Like, uh, it's just... So generic and bland. I don't like. I said this C D F. What I don't give a fuck. Those, those movies that like aren't important to me really in terms of like horror stuff. Oh no, sorry. That's the fucking second Ouija movie. Yeah, dog shit F. Sorry, we'll put the original one up there. Ten Closure Lane. It's a pretty good movie. I don't know if the original Cloverfield's in here. It might be this one right here that I'm hovering over. But uh, I'm not sure. I can't tell. Then Cloverfield Lane. Um, I'll give it an A. Um, not really much of a horror movie until the end. Sorry, spoiler alert. But uh, a really good movie nonetheless. So uh, I think that's why I put it in A. Um, it was a really good movie. But like I said, kind of a... Not too much on the horror aspect in my opinion. Um, and then, so these at the bottom. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest. I've probably seen some of these... And I, like, for sure may have seen some of them. But, uh, I just don't remember. And I can't tell from enough of the picture. It's not showing me the whole thing. So, sorry, guys. Uh, but, yeah, this is the overall list. Um, you guys can, uh, be sure to tell me what you think. Uh, you guys can be pissed off at what I said. You know, say, Troy, you goddamn jackass. What the fuck? Um, The Nun is definitely the best horror movie of all time. It should be S tier. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Feel free to leave your comments alone and say uh, what you would have changed if you were doing this. But, um, appreciate you guys. Uh, see you in the next one. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.